Oh, cool. I made two FM videos in a row. Wow. I'm improving. Oh my God. Well, as you can see, here we are rebuilding Chelsea in our own world where a lot of the things that have happened in the summer haven't happened, and some did, weirdly enough. This game is a bit uh, buggy, but technically this is the second episode. The first episode is episode zero, where we've done a lot of the transfers there. I do advise you to go look at there because there's a lot of weird shenanigans that have happened there. Uh, we were very close to signing Lionel Messi. Unfortunately, we could not justify 1.9 million pounds per week. I offered him 400k a week. Well, that's kind of a big difference there. So that's something that didn't happen. We also lost a few other players to Saudi teams. We lost Skriniar, for example, and I don't know how to spell his name. So also lost, not to as much money. I don't know why he chose them. However, if you do want me to summarize some things, let's summarize the transfers that have happened. But I do urge you to go watch it because like I said, the video was quite shenanigany, let's say. But yeah, first things first, in terms of big transfers, we have signed Moises Caicedo. Yes, I, I still did the same thing. I did the same exact potential error like Chelsea did. Maybe he's going to be good. Maybe he's not going to be good. But I signed him for a whopping 91 million, probably 9 million less than Chelsea signed him in real life. But the second guy is actually quite exciting. It's Victor Osiman. I signed him for 86 million. I am excited. This new guy is so good. He's so fast. He's good at finishing, good at heading, good at everything off the ball. I, I'm just excited to have a striker that can actually score. Because the only guy we have is Jackson. And you know how well that's going. But another player is Mavrdashvili. Who, in my eyes, is a very good keeper. He's a very tall goalkeeper. He's got all the stats that I want. And with us selling a few other players, it's quite important to have a good keeper like him in place. And, you know, him being 22, hopefully he can kind of improve further on and become a world-class goalkeeper that I believe that he is. And finally, we have two more signings. We have Hector Bayron, who came in as a kind of an on a free, just to be there as a backup option. And David De Gea, who in real life doesn't have a club, but he has a club with us and he's also injured. And in terms of outs, there's also a few other outs. There's a lot of outs. A lot of things have happened. We sold Kepa. We've sold Lukaku. Go on. We sold Sar, Ziyech, we sold Abameyang, we sold Pulisic for 50 million, who I think that's crazy for him. And apart from that, there's been some kind of smallish players coming in and out, some people going alone. So we have managed to kind of trim the squad a little bit, but it's still kind of big. So far, it's 32 people. A lot of them are still potentially leaving, and some of these are just options. They're basically options. And also, as you can see, we have a lot, a lot of injuries here. But the squad looks nice. So far, we have something like this lined up. I think it looks quite beautiful. I'm excited to play this. This tactic is going to be interesting to try. Uh, I've experimented a lot with these kind of tactics before. So sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I'm curious to see what happens. But yeah, I'm excited to keep playing. We're going to be playing United today for you guys and doing some stuff in between. So that's in a few days. So we've got plenty of time for that. Starting the save in my own world does not mean we are exempt from the injury crisis that's happening at Chelsea. Enzo Fernandez has got an injury. Um, as I said last episode, he is going to be a player we'll be building around. Not when he's injured. Not when he's injured for 11 days or 4 weeks. And, you know, our game against United is in 7 days. Do we have a replacement for him? Not really. We don't really have a good replacement for him. What the game thought it can do is play Mount in that position. And I don't know if I agree. I mean, if you take a look at his roaming playmaker kind of stats, kind of. I think everything else apart from dribbling and long shots works. But actually, you know what? He doesn't look half bad. Hear me out. There is some logic here because I was thinking, I was looking into trying to get someone really cool in that deep line playmaker or maybe a Mazala role, or maybe advanced playmaker. And I had a thought. There's this German player. You know, we got rid of one player from this team. Why not bring another player? Because... What can go wrong, right? <laughs> what can go wrong? Can we try and poach Florian Wirtz from Bayern? He's a very, very good player. I mean, great passing, great technique. He has the dribbling skills, which Mount doesn't. Great flair as well. And he's 20 years old and he's got plenty to keep improving. I mean, he's unfortunately not four-star again. He's a good Premier Division player. And I have a lot of money to spend. I have 100 million to spend. I could try... Maybe seeing if I can do something from this. If I can, that would be very nice. Uh, let's drop it down to 60. They say yes to it. 99 million for Verts. How much should we sign Havertz for? 
So we sent Harvard for 71, so therefore, this guy should be even better, right? So someone leaked the transfer story, it wasn't meant to be here. Imeric Laporte is one of the players I'm looking into because I'm not really convinced that Colville is the player, I guess, for, for the start of the season to kind of play with Thiago Silva at the same time because I'm a little bit worried he's a bit not so good, if probably that's the best way. According to his stats, he's fine, but if you compare to him against Laporte, there is no comparison, and I put in a bid for 24 million, so maybe that'll be good, but this is more important. Let's jump on this, see if we can convince him to join us. He wants to play as advanced playmaker, that's fine. He's going to be exempt from registration, which is also good. For these wages, not bad. Again, last episode, I could have had Messi, and this could have all been avoided. And instead, I'm doing the smarter thing and signing younger players. Maybe it was for the better. I mean, I had a chance to sign Messi. This is something I need to actually do because I forgot to do it last episode. There is a need for me. Where are the coaches? Where are the... Who's coaching this team? Well, we have two assistant managers, both on 35k, and one of them is Continental a -Li He's not even... He doesn't even have the... What is going... Pochettino. Bro. And he even has his son as a fitness coach. For 15k! Man, I wish I was a 28 year old on 15k. This guy's just two years older than me and he's, wow, 15k a week. For what? My god. Can I? I mean, he's not bad. What about the other guy? Jesus Paris is worse. Jesus Christ. Mm. That is stupid. On how many? Two years. Oh my god. 35k a week for an assistant manager. Wow. Well, it's good that I looked into this because we need some damn coaches. Yes, yeah, so one of the actually things I do need to do because I forgot about it is to find a set piece coach. So there's a few available. Some of the clubs have it. And I know Chelsea doesn't have one because have you seen how many goals we scored from uh, corners or set pieces? I mean, to be fair, how many goals have we scored in general? But yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, let, let's look at this guy. This guy, I don't even know if that's important. Uh, tactical knowledge is meh. Is that is that what's important? Is that... Let's see. Where is coaching roles? Set piece coach, overall. Are we going to find anyone that's that level? Cool. I guess I just need to get rid of... Just, just put set pieces. Just put set pieces, hire the best guy, and uh, whatever, forget about it. Yeah, he looks fine. He just doesn't know anything about tactics, but I can tell him about tactics, whatever. Let's hire him. Five years. He'll do well. <laughs> that way, just too high. In my opinion, that way, just too high. I mean, compare him to... I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Oof. That way, just actually don't look... Very good. They're way too high. I do like Emmerich Laporte, though. He wants to have an increase, even though he's being let go from City. I mean, I can see what I can do, trying to lower it as low as I can. But, I mean, he has experience at this level. If I can drop it to, like, what he expects, 140, maybe even 150. If I can get in front of 50, 55, you know, this kind of scares me. But I've always wanted to have Laporte in Chelsea. Some of the players I've been looking for, again, instead of Verts, is Adam Wharton. So apparently he's quite good. No idea where he came from. Apparently he's quite good. And uh, last I checked, City were interested in him. And I can get him for 15 to 18 million. But I'm not really impressed with that. And actually, spoiler alert, João Neves is another player that I'm interested in. For that much money, it's crazy money. It's stupidly crazy money, but he's a stupidly crazy player who... I think can play in that role much nicer than Mount, maybe? If you compare him to Mount, yeah, Mount is more attacking. That could free him up, and he's 18 years old. Do I have enough money to complete both his deals? Oh, if I do, that'll be very good. Let's do a cheeky one. Let's do 20 million, and then a lot, a lot, a lot of installments. Let's do the good old-fashioned uh, full manager way. Let's give him how much do you want. They want 60 mil. Let's get him, let's do that, and let's do that, oof, 
Okay, so that's gonna cost me 69 million. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can, th this will be in a long time. I could maybe drop this down to 60 or 20 million. Would that go? Ooh, they actually ask for more. I'm doing some crazy things. I'm gonna go for him. I need some more strength in the midfield. This, I, man, this game is gonna be crazy. This game is gonna be crazy for me. I'm gonna have very good players. And I'm going to have the same problem as Chelsea has in the end. I think it must be a Chelsea thing. We just sign way too many players as I quickly in the background get them 100k a week. Man, look at this. They're always... They just don't care. My money is going to go. Oh my god. The overall balance. Yikes. Wait, we started with minus 178? Oh my god. We're so in trouble. Priority will be Neves and Verts. If Laporte comes through, I'll wait for it. But... Wow. Wow. I mean, maybe I could sell like Kukurea. Is that is that a thing? Can I do that? I do need to look into our medical staff because what the hell? Another injury. Another very, very long injury. I mean, look at the squad. Wait, where's, where's the injury stuff? Look at all these injuries. Six long-term injuries. He's gone from for a year. He's gone for like two more months. He's gone for, a, well, a month. He's gone for a whole freaking year. And he's gone for five months. Man, what is this team? What is this team? What, what, what? What's wrong with you? Medical team. Hello? You have one physio, two physio, one doctor. You guys, awful. Maybe sports sciences? But I, I, I don't know. I'm going to get more physios, but I, uh, there's nothing a physio can do when, when you get a broken leg. Again, and he was one of the guys that I was kind of hoping to get him in and around the team. So now we really need Verts and Neves because we're not going to have a starting lineup. We may have to change to like two in the midfield or something because literally if any one of them gets tired... We're gone. We're done. The worst I can do is maybe take this position here and move it into center back and then add a center back. But I went from having a very big squad to having an absolutely awful squad just because of injuries. But I'm, I'm worried now that Nevis and Verts are not going to fit into our budget. And the game with United is today. Please, Verts. Please. I know you're stuck in the airport somewhere. Both of them. Oh, my God. They both can grant the permit. They're going to. When are they going to arrive? When are they going to arrive? Can I afford both? What's it going to do to my transfer budget? Oh my... Should I have clicked yes for both of them? We have a million! <laughs> it made a difference! Uh, yes, okay. Straight into the squad you guys go. Wow. I mean, this is such a um, football manager thing. Yeah, getting some sports scientists in. Oh, finally, you know, after some people got broken legs. Do I risk with something like this? Do I play verts instead of... Gallagher I think yes I don't know if I believe in him and I don't believe in his ability to kind of play well against United I'm not sure you know what I still have like literally probably two more minutes or when is this game this game is going to be probably at three because we're playing on a Sunday so in about three hours we will know if it's probably a, a dumb idea okay there we go so it is it is here um is it a good idea to do it you know what? This is going to bite me in the ass, most likely, but I think this is the team we're going to go for. So, I hope you guys are excited. This is our first game as Chelsea. This is our first game that hopefully we're going to win. That we're going to win? Yes? Confidence? Confidence? If you're as confident as me, hit that like button. If you're not as confident as me, subscribe. I win either way. <laughs> Here is the squad for today's game. We have Mamadashvili in goal. We have Thiago Silva and Colville as the two center backs. This is going to be a weird one. We're going to have Chilwell on the left, Mount as a roaming playmaker instead of Enzo Fernandez in, in the midfield, and James will be on the right. Caicedo and Verts will be having their debut today as well in the midfield. I am really excited to see what Verts can do, and I'm really excited what Caicedo can do, even though I've already seen what he does, because, you know, Chelsea in real life sucks. But it's our world. We don't know. It's going to be his first game. We're excited. Sterling on the left. Osiman, our new number nine, is up front. And with him, it's going to be Jackson running around trying to put some pressure on people yeah i hope you're excited let's get into this game man this i'm actually quite looking forward to this game this is the team that we're playing against we're playing against henderson and go van bisaka varan martinez luke shaw who they signed to garte as we were linked with him as you remember he plays for psg now casemiro bruno fernandez the human fidget spinner marcus rashford and anthony martial okay this quote looks like fred's still there cool Go out there and impress me, lads. I I have faith in you. I may need to tweak some things, but, you know, the squad looks okay. I think we should be ready 
for this. United is not unbeatable, as you can see by the way they are in real life. This is our squad. Potentially, we'll get outdone by our own players. But, I don't know. Wait, so Chelsea's 11th and 10th? Better than last year, man. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Last year. What about this year, actually? Hang on. Chelsea's actually 11th. <laughs> And United is 10th. Okay, so at least they got the United thing wrong, but <laughs> they did get the Chelsea right spot on. And uh, <laughs> oh man, um, this is funny. This is actually funny. Do I have the right ones on? I am on extended highlights. Okay, let's set the key highlights and hopefully not every single highlight is going to be a highlight in my direction as I'm kind of worried about it now. Varan plays it up to Bisaka, who's playing. If I was to guess... That looks inverted to me. That looks inverted to me. One Bissaka inverted. Where's Shaw? Shaw's inverted. What the hell? What a weird choice by Ten Hag. Anthony, one on one with the keeper. Squares, uh, completely misses the goal. Wait. Can I? Oh no, I can't see yet. But that looks suspiciously like they're inverted wing backs. Now, is it going to be a cheaty positioning? Because if that's going to be kind of a broken position, which I can't really tell because my first game, Osiman, Jackson, Jackson takes a turn, Jackson, one on the keeper, Jackson, Jackson does not miss this! Nicholas Jackson, forget all those videos where he misses all the shots, this guy scores! I actually saw a funny video which was like increasing the goal size until Jackson hits the, the goal. Uh, you do not need to increase the goal size for this, you need to decrease it and he'll still hit it. Look at that, smashes in the top corner. He, I'm pretty sure he panicked, but what a great play. What a great link up between Jackson and Osiman. That's a great start, 12 minutes in. Is this the dream team? Is Jackson and Osiman going to be the dream team? Am I getting too carried away? I don't know. I don't know. But what is true is we're winning 1-0. Varan, come on, we need to keep putting pressure on them. I'm curious, in the back of my head, I'm kind of thinking, what am I going to do with the two inverted wingbacks? I mean, he looks... What's the opposite of inverted? Inverted? <laughs> he looks normal. He looks like a normal wingback. Uh, no, he does run in. Okay, he's so I, I think he is fully inverted. I do wonder if that means I need to be more careful in the midfield area because they might overwhelm us. But we have three players in that in that place. I wonder what's going to happen. How are we going to be... Do we need to do anything? Mm, I'm not sure. As I'm trying to fill in the airwaves. Nothing's going to happen. Ugarte... Plays it back to Henderson, who sends it to Martinez. United is spreading the play well. We're not really putting the pressure on them as Fernandez opens. Oh my god, Rashford. Okay. Mamardashvili does not save it as Marcus Rashford takes the ball, smashes it into the bottom right corner. And it's only been four minutes and pretty much one highlight in between the goals. That's unfortunate. Quite simple, really. Makes a nice run. Colwell makes. Why does Colwell step up like that? That was unnecessary, Colville. Why? Hmm. We're not getting the possession I want. I wonder if it's worth sticking mounts on deep lying. Not defend. Who am I? I'm not crazy. But maybe having him playing as a deep lying playmaker and also switch Colville and Thiago Silva. They've got the wrong feet. And just maybe with that in mind, he'll actually stay there. Because that seemed like a goal that came from his area and Colville shouldn't have gone out that way. I don't know. We do have more shots. Not enough position as Mount does win the ball. But Rashford brings it all the way back. Rashford has been tracking back quite well in this game. Ugarte. Who is clearly a halfback because of the way he slots between. Look at me. Look at me pretending I know what's going on. See, I told you I'll pretend what's going on. Casemiro. United is bossing us. Uh, we're kind of putting the pressure on them. But United is bossing us. We do need to do a little bit more with the ball. We we need to step up a little bit, guys. What are my instructions for pressing? How much more do you want me to press? Step up more, yeah. Not really stepping up more. Maybe they're just not used to this kind of game yet. I mean, Verts is not used to it because he's not played with us. Is that going to be a big issue this year? As Verts is going to try and put pressure on Shaw, but he doesn't get there on time. Rashford is going to run through again. Tiago Silva, get on the way. Literally a copy-paste goal. Literally a copy-paste goal as Rashford 
scores, and I don't know why this wasn't saved. Mavrtashvili, this was not a difficult goal to kind of stop. Is this something I'm going to need to stop? I'm, am I going to need to stop reinventing the wheel? Am I going to need to just go, look, we're doing that. We're doing that, and uh, that's it. Make it simple. Uh, well, experiments are good, right? Except when they lead to me losing the games against United after being 1-0 up. I mean, I always try to find some crazy stuff to do, but I've almost never found anything more creative than a 4-3-3. It's kind of annoying, really. Because you want to kind of tinker a bit and make the shapes a bit different. I like seeing shapes that are different as Jackson plays the ball to Mount. Sends it to James, who's offside, potentially. Gone up for a corner. So the offside doesn't count anyway. So the ball is rolling. Okay. So we'll see our beautiful set pieces, I just realized. Uh, are we going to do anything from them with our beautiful set pieces okay well i guess we're gonna see united set pieces eventually when he crosses puts a ball in the front post like i said we should have hit the post rashford is offside i thought it was casimir that headed it weird colville is moving the ball up quite slowly here as chilwell is also moving the ball to sterling who's been kind of absent in this game as casimir counters we are not doing well this is not a good... We started so well. Oh, no. Anthony won on the keeper. Okay, good that Anthony can't finish. And I broke Martial. They think Martial... Oh, I didn't... Oh, that's a new one. Oh, that's a new one. They think we're wa he's wasting time. I mean, maybe. But the way we're playing is awful. Um, we need more possession. We're not doing a good job. And I guess that's kind of my fault for maybe putting Mount there. I may need to just stop being a smartass and just do something like this. Get Mount on a box-to-box. -box. Stick Verts out here. Jackson is doing all right, actually, surprisingly. Osimhen, are you right-footed or left-footed? You're right-footed. Maybe I could just... How good is his dribbling? His dribbling is good. No, I do, I do like this. I do like this. I'm going to go with something like this. And I am going to... I'm just going to send him to attack. That's it. I think this will be fine. We'll see. Maybe at some point we're going to bring in like Mudrik or something. But for now, it's kind of working okay. The front the front two are good. It's just everything else is bad. Maybe it is just the fact that we're not really holding the ball in the midfield because Mount is deep lying. But I kind of hope that he would have decent passing so he can help link players up. But we do need Enzo. Maybe also be quite worth to just stop the play, actually. Anthony, what's he going to do from this position? I mean, he's bringing the ball forward. I am a bit worried, actually, on this counter-attack. We do have pace this year as James launches it away to Shaw, who, man, I, I can't I can't, I can't, understand why he's in that position. As he's going to put the cross in? Oh my god, man. Did I make a mistake with uh, Georgi? Did I make a mistake with Georgi? United is just better than us. Oh, what an awful start. I mean, it's a great wake-up call. I guess rebuilding Chelsea is more like just just Chelsea. Even in this game, Chelsea is still Chelsea. Uh, we need to do something different. We're not creating anything. We're getting the ball back as Mount is going to step up and do something with his number 12. What number was he before? I don't remember. Mount, is he going to create something? He creates a... A post shot, which is not even a shot on target. Colville. The camera has not changed. And, uh... Oh, no. So we're getting back into the game a bit, as you can see in the second half. Regardless, they, they scored against a run of play. So whatever I've done kind of worked. But I think it's time for me to kind of change some things. I'm going to put in Mudrik. I'm going to take off Jackson. And I'm going to stick on Madweke. I think to give us more and more pace... Kind of on the counters. Uh, maybe launch the ball forward now. Shoot on sight. No, just like early crosses. Who else has been playing awful? I mean, Caicedo is... Of course he's playing awful. Do I bring in Jao Neves? They're not ready, though. That's the problem. Lewis Hall. Verts is being... Okay, you know what? I'm going to stick Gallagher instead of Verts. And James. I'm going to stick Hector Baron on the right. That's why we bought him. 
Yeah, for now, I mean, I might take off Caicedo and I might just, I might just play two up front again with wingers. I I need to start chasing this result actually. Caicedo has been awful. Just like in real life, his first game was absolutely disgusting. So I'm not surprised. I I spent a lot of money on him. I was hoping that at least in this game he'd be better, but. He has not been helping us at all. We are starting to be better. United has scored with... They had three shots on target and they scored three goals. And that's it. That's how it ends. Oh my god. This team is so not ready. What the fuck? Well, it started so well and it ended like this. This is disgusting. Oh, Rashford tore us apart. Mamardashvili had an awful game. I mean, Jackson at least had a good game. I don't know. I might need to re rethink my tactics. I need to think of doing something better. This did not work. This did not work against United. This is going to be something we need to consider. I think we're just going to have to stop being crazy and just maybe do something like this. Maybe, maybe start with like a basic this almost. Just like literally as basic as they come. And then maybe even like box to box and attack in midfield and attack. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I think Jackson is meh. And Mudrik and, um, what's his name? Madwekar. He pulled his hamstring. Doing what? I think it's time for me to leave and have some food because I'm actually getting very, very frustrated. I'm sorry that the first game was awful. I'm going to see you guys for this, this Tottenham game, not this one. Um, you're going to see a transfer deadline special, which to be fair, with the amount of money we have is nothing. I mean, unless I sell somebody. But... Apart from that, I think this is the way we're going to go. We're going to see you against Tottenham. Mm. I hope to win some games in between and kind of figure out a tactic. But for now, it's actually awful. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my suffering. Smash that like button if you did. Hit that subscribe button if you are excited for more of this rubbish and more of my awful tactics. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.